In this video, I want to show you how to make a copper pyramid. So the first step we need to do is uh, just wind yourself some lengths of copper, like the tensor wire. And if you don't know how to do this, please look at the video at the top of the channel, what's pinned, and I'll show you how to do these steps. Otherwise, I just keep repeating myself. Okay, and I'll tell you what to actually cut them to next. Once you've wound your wire, then you need to cut four sides for the bottom at 262 millimeters which is half a circuit cubit which is those four there and then for the angled side bits which is the smaller ones they need to be four times 225 millimeter pieces and then that will then give you the right angle to represent the pyramid that i'm trying to make okay now i want to show you the very important part how to join the four corners now one of the other videos i've made i've shown you how to make a spring connector now the way to do this is you can either use a piece of the um piece of spare bit of that and make it into the shape like that or i use i've got a, a dowsing rod and i found just lying around the house and it's the right diameter and all you do is you get your wire you start the twist at the back there just to keep a grip on it like that so you just twist it around grip that and then you start to turn the wire round tightly and just make sure you keep it reasonably tight now you want to make these so it's going to round about 20 turns so what you're going to do then you're going to divide that bend it to make a corner then each one of those ends is going to go into one of those corners and another end into that corner on a 45 uh, sorry 90 degree angle so you just wind the wire around there and then when you're finished just pull it off so cut it there and then just pull all those off cut them in the middle so you've got then so you'll have the four corners all right so now you've cut your four corners pieces just get your lengths for the bottom what I'm going to do, put them onto there, so that's the full length of it, oh, I've got my thumb about halfway, so put the spring to approximately halfway, and then just bend it, uh, get your other corner, put that in there, like that, and all you need to do then, to tighten it up, is use your pliers, and just give it a nick there. That's all you need to do. Like that. And that then makes it tight. Do all that on both sides. And then just need to repeat this then. For the other corners. And then just join it all the way around. Until you end up with four pieces. All joined together. That's what you should end up with. Once you've uh, put all the four connectors on. And clamped them up. Nice equal square like that. Right, the next part I want to show you how to attach the center parts, the part that goes up there, down there. What we're going to do in the middle of that, there's going to be another one of these. So you need to do another one of those at roughly 20 turns, and then that's going to go from there, up there, down there, with a connector in the middle. All right. Now, to make one side of the apex, you get two pieces of the side bits. You put the connector in the middle and then you're going to bend it in the middle approximately to that sort of that sort of angle and that will then fit in there like that and what you want to do there there's a little gap there you just need to pull it a little bit twist it and pull it just to give yourself a little bit more space I don't know if you can see that here, there you go. Yeah, like that. it's got a little bit of space there. So what we're going to do then, we're going to get the other four corners and we're going to attach another spring connector, but this time you're going to make it and you're going to cut it off so it's got a length like that. And that's going to go on to the end of there, like that. We're going to tighten it up there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to wrap it around that just once 
Now this takes a lot of practice. So basically everyone's different. I'll be fair with everyone I make slightly different. So you just have to practice with it, cut it off, turn, twist it around like there, cut it off to wherever it fits best and then cramp it in using your, your, your pliers. Now once you've done one side, obviously repeat it for the other side and then you'll end up with like a, a, a um, an X shape, cross shape. And then I'll show you then how to connect these to the corners. And just as I was saying, everyone's different. Now this one, I've done slightly different. So I've hooked one of those ends on, like I showed you. And then the other one, I've managed to thread that piece of copper through the gap from the other side. Now what I'm going to do is cut these off, twist them and tighten them. So, as you can see, I've done what I've said. I've cut them off and I've just twisted it round. I can't emphasise this enough for anyone watching this. There's no exact science to this. So it's no use commenting asking exactly how did you do it because it's different every time. Just follow the procedure. Like I said, give yourself plenty of spare wire at the end of each one of those springs so then you can twist it round with your hand. And then when it gets close to where you think it's going to be good, just snip it off. And just cramp it in place and what you end up with is quite a secure join and then you can bend it it's quite malleable you can bend it to the right angle so you end up with something that fits so the next bit i want to show you it's just to do the same basically put another one of those connectors on the end with the spare wire and then we're going to twist it around the corners there okay now we've got the spring connector fastened to the end of one of the uprights all you're going to do you're just going to put that into there, like it is at the top, twist it round, cut it off, and use your pliers. Then do that then, the same on every corner. Just a little extra tip, guys. When you're putting these corners in, just make sure that you've got a nice long length of wire there. Because when you are putting it into there, you need to use your hands, basically, to pull the wire tight to try and get it in one of these grooves. Pull it round with your hands the other side, back round again. And when you've got a nice long length of wire there, that makes that so much easier to pull it tight. Then you can just clip it off where you don't need it. All right, cheers. So that's what it should finish with. Something looking like that. So all I do now, just to check that all the angles are right, you can line it up with the corner of your table or whatever. You can use a ruler, whatever you've got. Something that's at 90 degrees. And then if you need to just push it out a little bit like that one's a little bit out all you do at this point here obviously because it's a little all bendable just pull it out a little bit until it gets all perfectly in line and if any any uh, uprights if they're slightly bent obviously the beauty about working with copper is you can straighten it so that's what you should end up with something looking like that and don't beat yourself up guys if you don't make a perfect one straight away none of us do just a bit of practice makes perfect. That's all we need to do. All right. See you later.